Module 1, Passwords. Unit 1, what is a password? We don't all know why we need a password. Practically everything you do on the internet, you are asked to create an account with a password. Most of the time, the username is your email address, and most people put in an easy password, like 111111. Furthermore, most businesses have you create a password after they have set you up with a work account and email. So if you need access to Facebook or your bank account or your shopping website or work then you will be asked to create a password. In most cases the password you create in this instance is your first line of defense. It protects your information from people who want to play a practical joke on you, someone posting on Facebook as you for instance, to stealing your identity through identity theft stealing all of your information, all the officer's information and worst of all stealing money off you. So 1234 password 11111 and QWERTY are not passwords. They are easy to discover and usually the first thing that anyone tries to access information as you have probably tried yourself. Any word from the English language, any language is not a password. These are not passwords. Anything that is a normal word in any language can be discovered in a very short space of time. Even long words, 6 to 10 characters, can be cracked in time. Any combination of letters, numbers, symbols, under 4 characters is not a password. Any combination of these letters can be broken using a rainbow table. If you have seen hacker speak, you know, turning have into HAV3, then this is what we are talking about. Rainbow tables are the first part of, part of a hacker's arsenal and are a hacker's di dictionary. Not only does it contain all of the words of the dictionary, but also all of the variations. So any O's are turned into zeros and capital O's. And finally, personal information about you or a significant other. Name, birth date, these are not passwords. It's a ha little harder to, for a hacker to crack, but it can be done. A spear phishing attack is based on understanding you and targeting you specifically. They are based on information they have discovered on Facebook, LinkedIn, any type of social media, even Twitter. So what do we need to do? To make it hard for people to crack your password, there are a number of things you need to do when you create it. Your per password has to be complicated. It has to be more than 8 characters long, with capitals, letters, numbers, symbols, spaces, anything you can think of that's on the keyboard. It has to be unique, not just for you, but it has to be unique to a specific site. And it has to be easy to remember without having you have to write it down. So in summary, your password is your first line of defense at work and on the internet. To protect yourself, you need to be able to create a complicated password, more than eight characters. Each one has to be unique and they have to be easy to remember. Next unit, we will cover how to create complicated passwords. Thank you.